Yes. Adrift you. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are having a very relaxed evening down here at the factory working on this beautiful machine. Our 280ZX sitting on her beautiful wheels. This thing looks absolutely ridiculous, but we need to finish it. It's been sitting here a while, so uh, still got a bunch of work to do. Dan is here with me, what's up Dan? Finally convinced him to come hang out for some uh, video stuff. Dan is doing, working his magic on the boot because this boot was butchered by a previous owner and so there's a little bit of body work that needs to be done on it so he's getting it done because he's way better than me at body work so that needs to be wrapped the fundamentals are here though for a very 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 cool car um, while he's doing that I have a box over here that contains an alloy radiator for our 280ZX I didn't necessarily need an alloy radiator but I got one because they look cool in the engine bay and they do cool better uh, because we have a whole and our radiator. Not quite sure how that happened, but I think perhaps when I jacked it up, I may have uh, accidentally caught the radiator at one point and put a little hole in it. So yeah, good stuff. But uh, yeah, so we're going to remove the stock radiator and chuck that in, and then we're going to continue wrapping the car and see where we get tonight. Let's get it done. Also, someone did some artwork on my car, so that's pretty cool. First things first, remove the old radiator. Alrighty, we have the radiator out. So good. Wasn't super hard. Uh, the only thing that gave me problems was the bottom hose clamp. Uh, it was just kind of seized. But other than that, it was a pretty easy process. Four 12mm bolts to hold the actual radiator in. Uh, the shroud is uh, a half shroud, so you've just got to undo it and it comes off the top and then off the bottom. Um, and then you can just obviously undo the hoses and pull the radiator out. And now, Dan's having a stretch, but we're going to open our... Celebrating. Oh, you're celebrating. Oh. My bad. Does this one get to go yes, we get to open it, but um, yeah, let's do it. Let's see what's in the. What's in the... I haven't even looked at it. Like, I don't even know if it's good quality, so that's how smart I am. The thermo fans, which we're not using, but I'll save for another project. So they can probably go on the rotary E36. Nice. Oh, worst. <laughs> wow. <laughs> see, I only buy quality Stanley knives. I got it. You're not gonna break that. No, you haven't even got it. Boom! It's upside down, but it's good. So this is supposed to be a direct replacement bolt-in thing. It doesn't really look like it's a direct bolt-in thing because there's no holes. I assume you have to <laughs> drill them yourself. Looks sick. Looks good. Cool, all right, let's slip it in and see if it actually fits. See if it just slips in. It's a thick boy. Oh, nice. Yours hitting on that side? Yeah. Like a lot? Uh, enough. Just means the bracket just needs to be cut. But it looks like it will actually fit though. So we'll just get the other radiator, which is there, and we'll just copy the shape of the, you know what I mean, the, the holes, literally just put it on and use it as a template. And then that'll bolt in. That looks freaking sick. That's crazy. All right, sweet. Let's um, let's drill the holes and chuck it in. It looks like it's gonna just go in so simple. All the, the radiator stuff is in exactly the same place. So. so the holes on both sides are symmetrical. So they're the same. So we've just laid the alloy radiator, uh, sorry, the stock radiator on. Made our markings for where the bit we need to cut off and the holes we need to drill. And we'll simply go ahead and drill it. It's that simple. And then hopefully it slides in and fits as it should, so. There we go, we've made our cuts, drilled our holes, so now it should, theoretically, the back calculations slide in 
to its home. Look at that. And that's it, we can leave. Done for the night, so that's good. Just start it up, probably gonna run. All right, so we've got the uh, radiator in, bolted up. This is the last wee hose clamp to be done up. Just putting new hose clamps on it, just to be sure that everything's gonna be good. Looks Eve good. Eventually we will uh, replace a whole bunch of these hoses and stuff on this engine when we do the engine bay overhaul, which I guess we've kind of started now with the uh, first thing obviously being this radiator. I think it looks awesome. Oh, I got most of it in. <laughs> did not. I didn't. Oh man, there's heaps of water coming out. Yeah, no. Hopefully it's just a bottom hose. <laughs> <laughs> and Mark's about to lie in the water. That's my arm. Is it loose? Nope. Is it leaking from there though? I think it's just coming from the radiator. Oh really? Yep. Woohoo! How good is that? My face. Damn it, it looks so good as well. So we got the radiator back out, just to have a quick look, and as you can see, this is all straight here, and then bent here and it split one of the fins. This wasn't us, that's how it came out of the box, but it's just a manufacturing error by the looks of things. It's like fully dented in and squished it and snapped one of the actual lines going through the radiator, so. It was cooked from the get-go, which is really unfortunate, but uh, at the same time, nice to know that we didn't do anything wrong, so we'll get a new one shipped out, we'll biff it in, but it's all good. Alrighty, so it's another day. We're back, obviously working on the 280 after having the dramas with the radiator. Dan is currently working on the boot, getting it all nice and smooth, because he's way better at body work than I am. It's coming up mad. I'm gonna start wrapping the passenger door because I really need to get this thing done and out of the workshop because we've got to bring the RX-8 in so we, can't, we can start stripping the engine and whatnot. So I'm gonna wrap this door. Still got a little bit of body work to do on this panel. Someone previously had done a weird job on the whole car, to be honest. Uh, even the spray job on the car was pretty rubbish. But that's why we're here to fix it. But yeah, I'm really keen to get this thing on the road and actually start driving it as well. So, so while Dan's doing that, I'll prep the door. We're gonna wrap it, it's gonna be rad. you guys uh, the radiator is in without leaks now which is super nice looks really good the rest of the engine bay looks like absolute turd uh, we're gonna strip it out a lot of stuff is gonna be leaving this engine bay we need to pressure wash it and paint some things and make it look all nice uh, but that's right this door is wrapped so that's another section of the car done come up really nice I'm starting to get the hang of this wrap thing which is awesome so now just the rear quarter panel and the boot and the bumper refresh left to go and this thing's going to be ready to drive so okay. good have you driven it in a while i haven't driven it in so long i can't wait and then of course we need to start on the performance mod side of things but that's a whole another thing uh, all together but uh but we'll see you guys tomorrow for more datsun adventures hell yeah what's up we're back it's another day uh dan is behind the camera because he's filming for me made a little bit of progress with the car just redid this quarter panel for the rear quarter right here. So now this whole side of the car is wrapped. And it looks very, 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 very cool. Um, obviously this is just eBay wrap and I am not super good at wrapping. Um, I probably shouldn't have wrapped such a cool car with eBay wrap with my skills, but whatever. It does look like a million times better than when I first picked it up. Here's a picture of, to remind you guys, what it looks like when I first picked it up. Yep, so that's what it looked like when I first picked it up. I paid $1,500 for this car, so it's not like I'm like ruining a perfect 280 ZX Datsun. It's uh, like we're bringing back to life a rather not good one that someone had mucked up previously and making it awesome again. So, you know, it is what it is. And remember, the plan is to respray this car probably in the next six months to a year. So this wrap is kind of temporary. 
so I can drive the car around and enjoy it in the meantime. So yeah, but I think it looks fucking sick. So now we're gonna take the rear bumper off um, and we're gonna recondition it just like we did the front one. So sand it down, respray it, polish up the chrome and put it back on. And while it's off, we can address some of the rust issues in the rear and wrap the rear end as well. We'll take the tail lights out. Dan, behind the camera, is going to finish the boot. And we're gonna wrap that as well. And then we can put the boot spoiler on and hopefully I'm crossing my fingers that today the exterior of the car is kind of finished. So lots to be done, but um, yeah, let's get to it. The boot is done. Oh! <laughs> Obviously needs to wipe down, but the boot is uh, done and it looks a million times better than it did before. Wow. Have a look at the back here, man. It's so good. Ah, so much better. Jesus. Yeah, that's amazing. All right, uh, next up, sanding and bogging. More sanding and bogging. So I am done for the night. I need to go home and have some food, but I am insanely over the moon at how good this thing looks. As you saw in the time lapse, I skipped way ahead, pulled the whole back end off, wrapped the whole back end, and uh, this is how it looks. Wow, it's just freaking insane, night and day. The rear bumpers are reconditioned, looks freaking awesome. All wrapped back here. The tail lights are just sitting in there at the moment uh, because I am gonna pull them out. I'm gonna buff them and just kind of recondition those as well, make them look nice. Then I'll chuck everything back on. The spoiler is currently being held on with duct tape because I wanna put that on perfectly and nicely now that the car's wrapped properly. But uh, the blue is just so freaking deep as well. But all together, oh my God, it just looks so, Freaking good. Super dirty the bonnet, but really, really starting to come together now. The thing looks freaking phenomenal. Ooh, boy. Damn, son. Crazy. Now, if you do end up seeing this car in real life, I'm gonna tell you in advance, the wrap job is not perfect, okay? There's imperfections in it. I'm not a professional car wrapper but it really does look a million times better than it did when we first started. And considering this is just an interim solution until we paint the car, I think it's really just, it's just come out beyond what I expected it to. Now this side still looks rat rod spec. This is the last part of the car that I need to finish and wrap. We're just gonna do a little bit more body work. I'll clean this all up, make it look nice. Need to seal it off and sick of flex it so that it doesn't rust and rain doesn't get up on the insides of the arches. 
Uh, I will do that, do not worry. I know you guys are gonna mention it in the comments, but don't worry, I've got that covered. But that is the end of this video. I'm gonna be introducing memberships to the channel soon. I'm just kind of figuring out the ins and outs of exactly how I want it to roll because I want you guys to get the best deals possible. And I've also got a bunch of new merchandise coming, including new sparkly stickers, some rad new t-shirts, and snapbacks, because I know a bunch of you guys have been asking about them. So uh, that's up next. The next time you see the Datsun, it's gonna be completely uh, finished and ready to drive, which is basically just that last little quarter anyway. The next video we you see me in, we're starting on the Rotary 13B E36 Vert Ute build. Uh, we've already got a bunch of goodies sitting right there for the car. As you can see, a little bit of sneak peek up there of something we're gonna be doing to the car straight away. Um, obviously this thing is gonna get absolutely chopped as we cut away all the parts that we need to turn it into a ute. We need to pull the 13B out of the RX-8 so we can put it in that. I can flog the RX-8 off. If anyone wants an RX-8 shell, hit me up. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys are stoked as I am on the Datsun. Hit me up in the comments. Hit that like button if you are stoked, guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram at It's Mike Blake. And I'll see you guys in the next video where we'll be doing stupid things to cars and having fun. Cheers, guys. Peace.